Hi, this is Matt with some answers from the Book of Mormon. Today, the uh, question to consider is, what does it mean to be born again? I'd like to set the stage, first of all, <clears throat> with the, the words of the Savior in John chapter 3, verses 5 through 7. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. So I want to add to that some insights from the Book of Mormon. In um, Mosiah chapter 3, verse 19, it says, For the natural man is an enemy to God, and has been from the fall of Adam, and will be forever and ever, unless he yields to the enticings of the Holy Spirit, and putteth off the natural man, and becometh a saint through the atonement of Christ the Lord, and becometh as a child, submissive, meek, humble, patient, full of love, willing to submit to all things which the Lord seeth fit to inflict upon him, even as a child doth submit to his father. So we can see from those two verses, um, obviously it's essential according to the Savior, and uh, one of the reasons, or some of the reasons, is that we by nature are, are sinful and need to overcome that. So let me share a few more uh, verses that can elaborate on <clears throat> the necessity of being born again and what that means. This is, uh, again, Mosiah chapter 27, verse 25. And the Lord said unto me, Marvel not that all mankind, yea, men and women, all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people, must be born again, yea, born of God, changed from their carnal and fallen state to a state of righteousness, being redeemed of God, becoming his sons and his daughters. In Alma chapter 5, verses 48 and 49, he says, I know that Jesus Christ shall come, yea, the Son of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and mercy and truth. And behold, it is he that cometh to take, a, take away the sins of the world, yea, the sins of every man who steadfastly believeth on his name. And now I say unto you that this is the order after which I am called, yea, to preach unto my beloved brethren, yea, and every one that dwelleth in the land, Yea, to preach unto all, both old and young, bond and free. Yea, I say unto you, the aged, and also the middle aged, and the rising generation. Yea, to cry unto them that they must repent and be born again. And then also in Alma chapter 7, verse 14, it says, Now I say unto you that ye must repent and be born again. For the Spirit saith, If ye are not born again, ye cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Therefore come and be baptized unto repentance, that ye may be washed from your sins, that ye may have faith on the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world, who is mighty to save, and to cleanse from all unrighteousness. And then a little bit more uh, explanation in Mosiah chapter 5, verses 2 through 15. Uh, this is King Benjamin speaking to his people and, and elaborating a little bit more on, on the process they went through as they were born again, as their hearts were changed and they all cried with one voice, saying, Yea, we believe all the words which thou hast spoken unto us, and also we know of their surety and truth, because of the Spirit of the Lord Omnipotent, which has wrought a mighty change in us, or in our hearts, that we have no more disposition to do evil, but to do good continually. And we ourselves also, through the infinite goodness of God and the manifestations of his Spirit, have great views of that which is to come, and were it expedient, we could prophesy of all things. And it is because... Excuse me, and it is the faith which we have had on the things which our king has spoken unto us that has brought us to this great knowledge, whereby we do rejoice with such exceedingly great joy. And we are willing to enter into a covenant with our God to do his will and to be, and to be obedient to his commandments in all things that he shall command us all the remainder of our days, that we may not bring upon ourselves a never-ending torment as has been spoken of, by the angel, that we may not drink out of the cup of the wrath of God. Now these were the words which King Benjamin desired of them, and therefore he said unto them, Ye have spoken the words that I desired, and the covenant which ye have made is a righteous covenant. And now because of the covenant which ye have made, ye shall be called the children of Christ, his sons and his daughters. For behold, this day hath he spiritually begotten you. For ye say that your hearts are changed through faith on his name. Therefore ye are born of him, and have become his sons and his daughters. And under this head ye are made free, and there is no other head whereby ye can be made free. There is no other name given whereby salvation cometh. Therefore I would that ye should take upon you the name of Christ. 
all you that have entered into the covenant with God, that ye should be obedient unto the end of your lives. And it shall come to pass that whosoever doeth this shall be found at the right hand of God, for he shall know the name by which he is called, for he shall be called by the name of Christ. And now it shall come to pass that whosoever shall not take upon him the name of Christ must be called by some other name, therefore he findeth himself on the left hand of God. And I would that ye should remember also that this is the name that I said I should give unto you that never should be blotted out, except it be through transgression. Therefore take heed that ye do not transgress, that the name be not blotted out of your hearts. I say unto you, I would that ye should remember to retain the name written always in your hearts, that ye are not found on the left hand, hand of God, but that ye hear and know the voice by which ye, he shall, ye shall be called, and also the name by which he shall call you. For how knoweth a man the master whom he has not served, and who is a stranger unto him, and is far from the thoughts and intents of his heart? And again doth a man take an ass which belongeth to his neighbor, and keep him? I say unto you, Nay, but he will not even suffer that he shall feed among his flocks, but will drive him away, and cast him out. I say unto you, that even so shall it be among you, if ye know not the name by which ye are called. Therefore I would that ye should be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in good works, that Christ, the Lord God omnipotent, may seal you his, that you may be brought to heaven, that he may, that ye may have everlasting salvation and eternal life, through the wisdom and power and justice and mercy of him who created all things in heaven and in earth, who is God above all. Amen. So again, some more uh, words, some explanation on what it means to be born again, to have our hearts changed, to take upon us the name of Christ. Hope that these uh, words have been insightful. I testify that they are true and that we all need to be born again and changed to be true disciples of Christ. And until next time, happy reading.